Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Linz and today I'm going to be teaching you my natural beach wave tutorial without using any heat products whatsoever. It's so easy and simple. It's four products that I've found over the course of like 10 years or so. I've worn my hair like this since I was a teenager. I love to rock some beach waves, beach waves especially in the summer months. Um, and it's just taken a long time to find a routine that has minimal amount of frizz. Frizz is always my number one problem. But I love the way my hair looks when I do this routine. And it's so simple and easy. And I've had it up on Instagram a few times and a lot of people have asked for it. So I'm gonna show you start to finish right from the shower to this end result, how I achieve it. Step number one is your usual shower routine, but I brush my hair in the shower and I use this wet brush um, and I part it down the center. Right now I'm using the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Shampoo and my go-to Garnier Damage Eraser Conditioner. I lather my hair in. Alright, so I'm just out of the shower. I apologize in advance if you hear noises. Um, there's a saw outside of my window legitimately because a tree fell down um, yesterday afternoon. Um, but yeah, so I just got out of the shower. Again, I brushed my hair in the shower and I part it down the center, brush it out while it's wet and just kind of like get any um, water out of it and then throw it in a towel. So now I can just let it out of the towel and I don't like to brush it because I find that makes my hair frizzier. If you have finer hair, I'm sure brushing it out would be fine. But for me, everything stays nice and compact. When I brush it, it just kind of poofs back out. So first thing I do, is take my hair out of the towel. As you can see, I have quite a natural wave to my hair, which is great for this hairstyle. All right, so my personal favorite hair care line is Way. So we're gonna be using a few of their products today. I have four, so we're gonna use three right now and then one when my hair has air dried. So to start, I always like using their air dry foam. It just makes your hair dry faster and it really decreases the amount of frizz. So I'm just gonna pump a few pumps. I like to shake it beforehand, it usually helps. And just put in about, I have a lot of hair, probably one or two for you. I put in about four pumps. Just massage that into my hands and then massage it into the ends of my hair. Again, I don't like to really ring, run my fingers through my hair. I just kind of like to add it very gently. I'm gonna do one more pump today because it is soaking wet and I need to get going when I'm done filming this video. Next is the Way hair oil. If you've watched any of my videos, follow me on Instagram, you know I am obsessed with this product. It is the nicest smelling product. I could honestly wear this as a perfume if they made it. It's so pretty and floral, and I've definitely had so many compliments. Sorry, I just put about like three pumps into my hands, and again, I like to use a generous amount of hair oil because my hair um, is frizzy. I just lightly put some on my roots, but most of it is gonna go into the ends. I just kinda press that in. I cannot, like honestly, if you could buy any of the Way products, if you have tangly hair, the leave-in conditioner is unbelievable. And the hair oil. The hair oil just, it makes such a difference in the texture of my hair. It makes it so much smoother. It makes it smell nice. It just, it feels like a luxury hair product, but the price point really isn't bad at all. So we just, Pressed some hair oil in there and then kind of like to just mess it up. Normally I would scrunch my hair but lately I've just been enjoying how it's been falling naturally. If you don't have a natural wave to your hair I would suggest scrunching it. But next thing I'm gonna use is the Way Wave Spray. So I again do love this product, but I will say it gets quite sticky, so don't use too much of it. I'm gonna actually kind of like stand up and show you guys how I do this. I like to shake this one too, I don't know why, but I just kind of like to spray in a few sprays. 
on that side. And then this side. And then again, if you have wavy hair, you can just kind of let it air dry like mine but if you don't have wavy hair you can definitely scrunch it up i've just been liking more of that relaxed wave versus like kind of like a ringlety look so next thing i'm gonna do is just let this air dry and i'll touch base with you guys once it's dry and show you the last product i use and we're gonna be ready to go with our beach waves today all right so fast forward about two and a half hours my hair is now completely dry this is the result, it's just like a nice, loose wave, nothing too crazy, and very minimal frizziness, which makes me really happy. I noticed the biggest difference when I went, sincerely, when I brush out my hair, my hair is like this. When I don't brush it, it's nice and like tame, and just has a nice, pretty, natural wave to it. So the very last thing I'm gonna do is go in with the texturizing, Hairspray, it just kind of breaks up the waves a little bit and holds them longer. So I'm just gonna spray that in. And then I also like to bobby pin a few pieces. So the only thing that doesn't really air dry nicely is I just have these like pieces in the front. And sometimes I do like straighten them, but I really like to not use heat tools period so I found these like larger bobby pins just at the dollar store if you're in Canada I found them at Dollarama and they're much bigger so I just take the piece behind my ear and pin it and it just looks like that and then take this one same thing and pin it back that way you can bring everything forward and that is the final result. When I do go to bed, I do like to braid my hair and in the morning it kind of refreshes the waves. But I love this look for summertime and I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe or follow my Instagram account. I'm going to have this on YouTube and IGTV. But Thank you so much for watching and let me know how your hairs turns out if you do try this tutorial. Bye!